So here's a new um, segment of what would they think, and basically what this is, is in what would they think, it's not so much two characters fighting, but more like what would it be like if these two characters uh, met one another? What would it be like, what would they kind of talk about? What would their discussions be? What would their, you know, what would they talk about, and how would they kind of connect with one another, if at all possible? And what would they, like, what kind of conversation would they have, and how would they kind of connect with one another? And today I'm going to be talking about the Hulk and Broly. And you may be thinking, oh, there's no way Hulk and Broly could have a conversation. There is no way Hulk and Broly would have anything in common other than let's just kill each other, and then the fan our fans will complain about who, who should have won the fight. Well, not exactly. Now, for reference, um, the version of Broly I'm going to be using is the new version of Broly from Dragon Ball Super, because that Broly is not only has character development rather than big, angry Smash Monster, uh, he has a lot of depth to his character and a lot of sympathy. Now, the Hulk in current comics and past comics has had in intelligence before, so what would it be like if the Hulk and Broly met, and not so much fight, or maybe they did fight, and now they're just kind of connecting with one another. So, honestly, I think the Hulk would look at Broly for, especially, again, you gotta understand, you know, this is the uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly continuity, and in here, I think Broly, I think Hulk would look at Broly and be like, he's like me, you know, he's this, you know, he's this big angry monster who's just lashing out because he's scared and confused. So I think Hulk would be like, hey man, what's, what's going on? Oh, I'm, you know, I'm new here, I got sent here by you know, shenanigans. And Hulk would be like, right on. Uh, let's go talk about it. So, that would be one thing, is that I think Hulk would understand, especially this version of Broly, that, you know, he's not some, you know, they take, you know, he would be like, yeah, I know, I've, you know, I've been there too, where people have just took, taken one look at me and been like, oh yeah, Hulk smash, and, uh, you know, Hulk mean, and, you know, Hulk kill people when, yeah, I don't do that at all, so, yeah, I can, I, I get where you're coming from, man, I, I sympathize. So Hulk, I think, would, like, be open to talking with Broly. Now, the other thing I think they would totally kind of come to terms on is the relationships they have with their fathers. Obviously, Paragus suffered a lot of abu mental abuse from his father, while, while Hulk, um, as Bruce Banner, um, suffered a lot of mental and physical abuse from his father. So I think they would kind of, Broly and Hulk would kind of connect on that, where Broly is very much like, yeah, I, you know, my father did some stuff to me, he mind controlled me, but at the end of the day, he was still my dad, and Hulk would be like, yeah, I kind of get that. <laughs> yeah. So, but I think, like, they would kind of connect on that as, like, they they have these strenuous relationships with their fathers, and yeah, I think they would totally, like, kind of be like, yeah, so my dad wasn't perfect. Was yours? No. Okay. I, I see where you're coming from, dude. I I get you. I hear you. Um, I also believe that Hulk would be willing to, like, listen to Broly's story. Because I imagine if Broly just showed up in the Marvel Universe, it would not be... Uh, no one would want to hear his side of the story. Like, no one would want to hear, like, oh you know, oh, it's just a b another big rage monster, let's go ki let's go hit it, because comic books do that. So, I think that would be the big thing, is that Broly would uh, be destroying stuff, and then in the middle of it, like, Hulk would be watching the fight, especially now that Hulk has uh, some intellect, uh, again, because this is Devil Hulk uh, we're talking about, and yeah, Devil Hulk is pretty cruel, but also he knows when to fight and when not to, um, so I think it would be kind of fun that Broly would just, uh, like, Broly would be destroying stuff, fighting the Avengers, X-Men, and Fantastic Four, and in comes the Hulk, like, hey man, what's, what's going on? And, the, and Hulk would be like, hey guys, I got this, I'll, I'll talk to him. <laughs> um, I also believe that Hulk would kind of understand that, um, Hulk would understand Broly's kind of approach, the, you know, he had all this power, and he doesn't know what to do with it, and he lives in like a, he feels like he lives in a world made of cardboard, and Hulk would be like, yeah, man, you know, you're surrounded by puny humans, you know, it makes sense, you're surrounded by a bunch of weak, puny humans who are going to hate you, that is what you're dealing with, you know, that is what you're gonna deal with for the rest of your freaking life. Um, so I think that would be kind of fun, is that Hulk would be like, 
yeah, I get it. You're you're dealing with puny, you're going to be surrounded by puny humans, or in your case, puny Saiyans, and you're not going to be able to use your full power at some point. Yes, I know Broly does use his full power against Goku and Vegeta. I, I'm fully aware of that. Uh, but anyway, so that was the big thing. So that's the you know major thing you have to look at is that Hulk would be Hulk, Hulk and him would also probably do this while eating a lot of food. Like they would probably like, especially since Devil Hulk is not exactly a kind person, they would like smash into like Hulk would break into like a fast food restaurant and just be like, look at all the people inside and go bitches leave. And everyone runs out and he's like, come on, man, let's get some food. So it would just be him and Hulk, uh, like, Hulk and Broly just eating all of this food left behind from the frightened, uh, uh frightened civilians. <laughs> and they're just having a normal conversation while the military, Avengers, X-Men, and Fantastic Four, and every other superhuman is, like, sitting outside, like, waiting for either them to start fighting or them to turn on, on the rest of mankind. Because Hulk and Broly working together is a scary thought. Um, I also believe that Hulk would kind of also, like, Hulk and Broly would also kind of talk about, um, like, their different views. Like, how Broly, while he doesn't, like, at first they're like, yeah, I didn't want to fight, but my dad wanted me to be a warrior. And Hulk would kind of be like, yeah, my dad wanted me to be something different, too. Or Banner's dad wanted him to be something, too. And that something turned out to be me. So I think they would also kind of connect on that level where they, again, lo going back to their father's, you know, disapprovals of them or needing their father's approvals, I think they would be kind of connect on that level where um, they would both be kind of like, yeah, we got pushed into stuff we didn't want to do um, by our fathers, and now we're just kind of surrounding ourselves with people who we can, like, we can be, those, you know, we can be those kind of good influence to those people or be better being around those people. Obviously, the two, Chirai, and I'm forgetting the other character's name, who are with Broly now at the end of the movie, and of course you've got Hulk's, main, Hulk's cast of, like, Betty and Samson and and uh, Rick Jones, all of them. Although I know, I know in, a multi, in Immortal Hulk, um, <laughs> Rick Jones and uh, Betty Ross are kind of a little different now. Not to spoil anything to, to non-readers, but yeah, they're a little different now. So that you know, that I think that would be kind of fun for those uh, for those two to deal with is like they both kind of talk about it, and I think Hulk would impartial on uh, like impart Broly with some knowledge of, listen, you are going to attract some very powerful people if you haven't already. Obviously, referring to Goku, and he'd be like, look. It's cool that you got friends, but maybe it's best if you leave them behind. Some uh, leave them behind because you're only going to call. You know, your very presence offer. You know, invites challenge. So this Goku guy, he's definitely. You know, he may not mean it, but maybe there's going to be a fight between you two. You rage out to the point where you don't recognize friend from foe. Trust me, I've done that before fighting Thor and a few other people. Didn't turn out well for me. So that'd be kind of cool, is Hulk giving advice to Broly um, in that in that kind of conversation between the two. Um, I also think it'd be kind of fun of Broly being like, you know, um, how do you deal with the loneliness? And he goes, easy, I just do. <laughs> so that'd be kind of fun. Uh, so you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think it would be like if Hulk and Broly didn't fight, but more like had a conversation? What do you guys think they would talk about, and how do you think they would connect? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.